The one thing that I absolutely love about this book is that it not only contains recipes for success, but it contains recipes with pictures and code. This book has really become my go-to guide because I'm building on AWS every day. So it's definitely starting to serve that purpose for me. We definitely learned a lot writing this book about some of the commands you can write to, you know, set default encryption keys for your EBS volumes very easily. So we were really happy to see that and hopefully we did a good job of showing the readers about what's what's capable with AWS. One of the first things I teach people when I engage with them about how to use because you essentially minimize any open ports on a machine from the network standpoint. There's a lot of flexibility when it comes to databases. Um, there are even managed services that will help you manage your, your databases. Sometimes you need an internet gateway to actually do something to serve something. But if you have a private workload that's completely isolated, it's all inside your VPC, it's, it's, a, it's a very high security posture to take. So that's why we really like that service. And one challenge associated with this recipe recommended putting an Amazon API gateway in front of the Lambda function. I've been in tech for 26 years and I remember the world before containers. I also remember the world before CICD and it, it wasn't a fun, a fun place to be. <laughs> a massive best practice. We, we really can't stress it enough to really configure CloudTrail to log to an S3 bucket with a retention that you're comfortable with. So obviously the more you log, there'll be some more costs associated, but that's very important data. I think the book mentions that data is the new gold. Um, data is definitely the new gold. Um, I think there's more data than gold though. <laughs>